what's good world what's good y'all can see by the thumbnail we got a good one today y'all in for a good one man i've been waiting to put this thing on the dyno uh i got it like i said i got a little popping coming out the exhaust pipe i don't know what it is i hope it don't affect the numbers and stuff but either way we're gonna send it on the dyno uh it's nine something in the morning i'm about to go ahead to the gym first go get it in man health is wealth y'all gotta stay on that health health grind you can follow my fitness channel too i'm about to get it back popping i'm just waiting for the top of the year to start back with content it's uh j malcolm fitness motivation say i lost 109 pounds in 180 days just eating right and uh you know lifting man lifting weights and that's it no help none of that set my own meal plan up and all that so i dropped tips on weight loss over there called health as well but yeah i'm about to uh get a cold start on john jones y'all know i drive this car everywhere I don't even own a trailer right now. I will be getting one, but I don't own one right now. But I'm finna drive uh, 40 minutes to my hometown. Probably stop by Joe Buddy Race and get some more stuff. I'm probably gonna try to shoot two videos today. But uh, yeah, man, I'm finna get the cold start for y'all. Excuse the muddy tie in the uh, B-roll clip. <laughs> if you saw my um, if you saw the vlog two two vlog before this, you'll know why all this looked like this. So if you haven't, go watch it. And uh, that explain all this. But I'm about to hit that with some degrees and get that out. Cause we can't be on the dyno looking like that. So y'all just stay tuned. What to do, y'all? Just pulled up uh, to pick up my cousin. He over there. He been working on the cutlass. Um. To be honest with y'all, I don't know what kind of normal this thing gonna throw out. Cause I know it's a problem. It's a problem. I ain't been able to put the uh, hook the laptop up. Cause I still gotta get the HP tuners. That's what it's tuned on. Cause it, it's it's popping. It's popping back through the Fender X. When the RPM come down, it's popping back through the Fender X still. So I don't know what the problem is. Uh, I just thought about it when when I uh, ran out driveway. I think maybe I could have got a O2 sensor or something. I can't remember if it's down there or not, but. I don't know. We still gonna send it. We are gonna get on Dino. We still gonna send it. Like I said, y'all might see some fire come out of that. Cause like it, it spin back. It spin back when the RPM go down and when it get down and boost. So I don't know. We are gonna see what happened though. Y'all look. Pause the video. Pause the video. Put your horsepower guesses below in the comment section. Pause the video now. Guess what type of horsepower you think it's gonna make. I will give y'all the specs on it right quick. Quick rundown. Uh, it's a uh, with forged bottom. That don't matter. But we ain't running it past 10 pounds of boost. I'm running on wastegate pressure, which it got a 10 pound spring in it. Uh, so it's gonna be running 10 pounds of boost. Might run it on eight, uh, set it on eight. Well, we're gonna run on 10 all the time. It's gonna be three pulls. I'm not changing nothing cause I ain't got the laptop with me or none of that. So 10 pounds of boost, 93 octane. Uh, it's a 6.0. And you wanna know the risk, y'all gotta go check out my video. I done gave the whole <laughs> combination. Hey, 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 I think it's gonna be a, a 540, 550 range. That's what you think? Cuzzo? 540, 550. All right, Cuzzo say 540, 550. He has rolled in the car. He done felt it. He done drove it. So, yeah, put what y'all think he's going to make, man. We're on 93 octane. I'm, uh, I'm dyno in the car now. I'm not finna turn it up and now. I'm dyno in it now because we're about to make a lot of changes to this car. The entire kit, plumbing and everything about to be different. Moving to a Huron Speed kit. The, uh, we about to start implementing CO2. It's gonna be on E85, and y'all, and for my turbo people, they know with this same tune, just switching the fuel over, it'll make a lot more power. E85 is that much better. I do a video on E85 and all that, the pros and cons of it too. Uh, but yeah, we about to change the whole kit over, the plumbing and stuff. Just a custom fab kit on here now. Uh, E85, big injector. Of course, you need big injector for E85. And uh, what else? I can't remember what else. We're going to start pouring more boost to it. So, 
this is my ride around to them. Put comment, comment below what y'all think. And next time y'all see us, we'll probably be at the shop getting ready to go on the dyno. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we here. John Jones. This is where we at. Lead foot diesel performance. They do some bad trucks too. Just wipe John Jones down right quick. So we about to go ahead and on, see if we can get started. We're a little early. We're a little early, but we're about to go ahead and see what happens. See if we can go ahead and get it, get it strapped down and see what's gonna happen with the uh numbers and all that. So y'all stay tuned in. I'll catch y'all in a few. Hey look, we um we over here at Lead Foot Diesel, y'all, in the showroom waiting to get on the dyno, but look at this, you got a sick, sick truck, man. They do some of the fastest <laughs> diesel trucks in the world. A bunch of thousand plus horsepower diesel trucks. I done filmed some of them on my main channel, J Metal 2004, so they right here in my hometown too, Monroe, Georgia, Lead Foot Diesel Performance. Check them out on Facebook, all that good stuff. Um they'll get you right, man. They definitely know what they're doing. So yeah, it's some bad stuff. They got a dyno, so we about to hit the dyno. Uh, you can definitely get on for that too. Um, no matter what you got, you know, just come over here. Uh, y'all about to see in a minute the next clip. Probably gonna be the next clip. We'll be in there. Then I show y'all all of that, and I probably put the information on screen next clip too. So just stay tuned in. I catch y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so we in over here at Leadfoot, like I said. Got the information on the screen. Y'all can hit them up. Uh, getting everything strapped down. And we about to see what happened. Like I said previously in the video, comment below. Pause the video. Comment below what you think it's going to make. So 93 octane right now. It's spinning back a little bit through the fin through the exhaust. I don't know what it is, but like I said, we're going to send it. And we're going to see what happens because I'm about to change all this over anyway. So, uh, that clip, y'all, we're gonna make it do what it do.
y'all so look we just finished the dyno session man much love to the uh lead foot diesel uh team i will be back here like i said i put their number on the screen earlier so if y'all around the monroe georgia area see they're my hometown uh check them out if you close by great facility man y'all see a nice setup nice setup in here we did the three runs um y'all come through y'all hit them up tell them y'all came from the video tell them jay malcolm sent you and all that but like i said it's a nice facility that this is what we ride around on. This regular tune, everyday tune, and all that. So now we're gonna make the changes, change the uh, plumbing and all that over in E85 and start running some real boost on it. Cause they were 10 pounds, 10, 12 pounds, and yeah, that's it. And my buddy Rick over here, he said he said we got to go out here and do a burnout. It's on the right, so we're gonna go out here. We're gonna go out here on the pad and we're gonna get some uh, tire smoke and make it do what it do. Thing right there is clean. Hey, look. What? Hey, what you said? That truck. Hold on. Hold on. Let me brighten up. What you just said? That truck. Which one? Right here. This one. What? What? Tell them what it just made. I ain't gonna even say. He ain't gonna say. Look. Look. Is that? Is that nasty? That tell y'all something. Is that nasty? It's clean too. It's clean too. I know some of y'all watching got diesels and all that too. Y'all know we like to go fast and everything. So. Yeah, man. But I hope y'all been enjoying this vlog, man. It's been a show. They pull the truck out and everything. Y'all see it skin up down there, so we're gonna uh we're gonna go over to the shop in a minute, so I catch y'all in a few. Alright y'all, so look, we got the green light. Giving y'all a little tour of lead foot. And man, I'm telling y'all they do it all. I like all this stuff, man. It's... And they making some power too, man. They making some real power. Definitely making some steam, I say that almost everything so let me see we're gonna slide through here everything built built right over here Ooh -wee. see that this this why i didn't get a diesel leader when i got my own truck this is the only reason i didn't get a diesel because i know i'd be making it fast too 
And I'm not trying to make everything I got fast. I mean, I already done did some stuff to my L150, but. This thing right here, though. This thing right here is gangster. Man. They said this is a sled truck, too. And they do sled pulls and stuff. So, you know, you know, you focused on torque then. This thing probably putting out 1,000 plus foot pounds of torque. I don't know the exact numbers, but I'm pretty sure. And it got some paint on it, too. Yeah, this thing's sick. So Y'all make sure to hit them up. Like I said, even if you you don't have a diesel, if you want to jump on the um, dyno and stuff, hit them up. It definitely got some of the best prices if you just want to see what your car doing and not guessing. So, about to do a cold start on this truck right here. Sound good. Sound real mellow, for real. Man, look, this right here, if this caught you on the highway, <laughs> oh boy, mess around and tell you, you'll think you're riding beside a just regular clean truck with. Well, it caught you sleeping on the highway with this, boy. Yeah, they'll catch you slipping with that. Big time. So y'all see. <laughs> y'all better come over here and get with them. I'm telling you, man. Look, we like going fast and everything, anything. Lead foot these performance. Uh, hit them up. Hit them up, all I can say. So, catch y'all in a minute. I might uh, slide over to Joe Buddy Racing in the next clip. So, hope y'all been enjoying this. I'm going to catch y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So, checking in, man. Today has been an epic day. Hit the dyno, car, car really shocked me, I ain't gonna tell you no lie, like I said, I was thinking low 500, that's what I always put in my uh, my titles, as y'all know, keeping it conservative, um, but obviously, John Jones is a haul, I know it fooled, I know it fooled a lot of people, I kept telling people, man, stuff, the car has some good stuff in it, man, it's a good car, it's a, it's really, it's not a sleeper, I don't call it a sleeper, but a lot of people do, cause it, it looks plain Jane, but it's a lot more than what it is, and my thing is, it's real safe. It's very safe, man. I mean, it's riding around. The power it made today, that's riding around every day. Uh, driving anywhere. Y'all know I did my track video. I drove it 100 and, 189 miles round trip. So, uh, and that's 93 octane, everything. Y'all know the car would have made more power just like it sits uh, with E85 fuel in it. But, uh, yo, man, I love this car. This thing here, bad. More to come. We about to make some changes in there. It's gonna make some more power, feed it some more boost, and yeah, man, we're gonna. Uh, like I told you, my end goal. I'm gonna run a 590. If people don't believe me, y'all to know it. The car had. The car can make the power to do it. I'm gonna run. A, I'm gonna drive to the track, change the tires. Oh, I'm gonna run a 590. Then I'm gonna change the tires back and come home. Got a bad street machine. True street car problems. Y'all saw it online. I'm the originator of it. True street car problems. So. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I'm keep the heat coming. Uh, I got to shout out everybody that uh, got a part of this car. Cause I want to shout out um, I got that Big T Performance Billet Torque Converter. The number on the screen right now. Hit him up. I'm telling you, I'm probably gonna put one in my big rim car too. The torque converter makes so much difference. If you talking speed, and I'll do a whole video about that, telling y'all about all that, but it make a big difference. But hit him up, get your custom torque converter. I got a billet one in here, so I want to shout him out. Uh, Showtime Transmission Rebuilds, and I'm on the screen right now. Y'all see the transmission is the truth. Like I said, he went all the way through it. This is a press transmission. Shout out to DJ. A lot of y'all already shot with him. Uh, Motion Race Works, Leash Electronics, <clears throat> uh, Joe Buddy Racing, everybody. Y'all better hit my people up. Bad car right here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I appreciate all y'all.